What's up guys, just a quick video regarding the claiming of ships on Star Citizen. There's a lot of talk around it at the moment, and mostly negative, about how much it costs to speed up claim times and how long the claim times are on the larger, more expensive ships. And um, I personally actually agree with the mechanic that, that you know, what's the idea of put in of how long it takes and the costs, etc. Um, I think it's, it's good. I think it makes sense that a large ship that costs a lot of money would take a longer time to claim back. Now, you can speed up that claim time. But a lot of people are posting screenshots of the excessive or they think excessive claim times and then the fact that they've got no UEC. Now, I have a problem with this because I don't believe it's a game problem. It's not a bug or down to developers. This is a player problem. This is the equivalent, in my opinion, to... Uh, you know, for example, Call of Duty, going in every game, finishing 0 and 10, and then complaining that the game's too hard and it's ridiculous, I'm 0 and 10, this isn't fair. Um, it, it's along them lines. I'm, what I mean by that is, you know, it's like I said, it's, it's a player issue. It's mostly, in my opinion, down to bad balance management regarding your currency, your UEC, bad UEC management, and also bad fleet management. Now, what I mean by that is, there's no reason that you should have no UEC in Star Citizen. Almost everything you can do in Star Citizen will reward you with UEC. Most people spend a lot of time either bounty hunting or doing something industrial like mining, for example. Both of which gain you a lot of currency. The other problem is, the, like I said, the fleet management. And most people that are complaining normally only have like a, a carrick for example is the most popular thing i see or a constellation and they don't really have any other ships and if they do have another ship it's another large ship or they've got concept ships for example you know that's bad ship management don't just have one big ship and a bunch of concept ships uh, you know make sure that you've always got some form of a starter ship or well, not even a starter ship something smaller you know even if it's a light fighter something like that at least that way when your large ship gets put into the, the impound or you know it's um on a massive claim time and you don't have any uet to pay for the the fee to speed up the claim time you can jump in your your aurora your pisces or a an arrow or a gladius something like that you can go and do some bounty hunting with a gladius or an arrow or you can go and do box missions with an aurora you know you've got options to go and fill up your bank balance if for some reason you don't have any uec you know you can go do a couple of box missions and and get 40 grand no problems in probably less than half an hour so, you know, there's no reason that, that it should be an issue to claim back a carrot. Now, yeah, all right, so you've got a massive claim time on your carrot, you paid a fee, and you've still got to wait, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. Don't just have a carrot. Like I said, have something else in there so you can go do something else for a bit. Now, I accept that sometimes you can lose your ship through 30Ks or some other in-game bug, but a lot of the time you'll be losing it through bad piloting or from being taken out by another player. If that's the case, you know, then it's fair enough that you've got to wait to claim it back. Going back to the money management though, this is a big issue in my eyes. You know, a lot of people complaining about it and saying they don't have the UEC to pay for it. Why have you not got the UEC to pay for it? Make sure that part of your gameplay every week is to go and make money. Whether that's bounty hunting or mining whatever it is that you enjoy doing um, go and do it make make sure you're doing it again there's no reason not to have any UEC everything you do in this game almost everything gives you UEC if you're into trading then make sure you're not investing all your UEC every time I know it's fun I love doing it it's something I enjoy doing it, it you know it's exciting uh, investing all your money if that's all you've got at the time into one load and try and make a nice big profit on it regardless of whether you're gonna get a 30k or not just run the risk it's exciting I get it but 
you know, now this is in game, you need to consider the fact that if you're doing that with a carrot and you lose your carrot, you're going to be sat around waiting for a long time. So maybe don't invest it all. Maybe invest half your your money, even if it doesn't fill the carrot up. Just invest half, slowly make the money so that when you're investing half, half your money still fills the carrot. You know, and then if you lose your carrot, you've lost half your balance, but you should have enough to speed up the claiming fee. And if you've been sensible, like I said earlier, and you haven't just got one large ship in your fleet, you've got something else to go out and fly, then you can go and do something else while you're waiting. Again, I, I, I believe this isn't an issue with the game. I actually think it's a good mechanic. The only thing I would agree with some of the comments I've seen regarding it being a problem is that the game isn't stable enough right now. It's not fair if you lose your ship to 30k, etc. I agree with that. But when it comes down to people moaning about not being able to claim their ship back because they've got near UEC and the only ship they own is a Carrick or Concept ships, that's down to the player. That's down to bad gameplay, you know, um, lack of management in a way. And I'm not crapping on anyone. I'm not trying to trying to say that they're bad players or anything like that. But at the end of the day, it does come down to bad management. You should be making sure you've got UEC. You should be making sure that your fleet consists of ships that don't just have massive claim timers. Uh, that's my opinion on it anyway. Now, something I've been thinking that could be a good way to fix this issue without necessarily reducing claim times or the costs is to create a small shuttle type ship. Something that all players can have in their hangar that 90% of the time will be completely useless. Now, how would that happen? Well, make the shuttle ship basically a cockpit strapped to an engine, but with the addition of some form of storage, not SCU, but a storage bay that, that's small enough to put a couple of boxes in for delivery missions. Uh, the ship would have no weaponry, no shields. It would be a complete glass ship. It would be one-shotable, essentially. But... If you only own a Carrick and your Carrick gets put into a claim and it's got a massive claim time and you've got no UEC, you'll be able to take out this little shuttle, go do a couple of box missions, earn enough money to speed up the claim time and yeah, you know, hopefully the time it took you to do that mission and then to hand it in and then go and pay the fee to speed up the claim time will bring the Carrick down into a time frame that's more reasonable, maybe a few minutes, or maybe it'll even be finished once you pay the fee off. I don't think that that ship would, you know, I don't think it would matter that it was a free ship, I don't think it would affect the game negatively in any way, because like I said, it would have no use 90% of the time, and it'd have no weapons, no shield. So I think that'd be kind of cool. The other thing you could do with that, rather than give it to everyone for free, is make it part of the claim system itself. So if you only have the one ship, and you put a claim in and it's got a claim time that ship has a claim time over a certain threshold say over 30 minutes then the game registers that and spawns a shuttle into your uh, ship hangar and that would allow you then to like i said take it out go to a couple of box missions and earn the money to pay off the fee to claim your ship back again i'm not crapping on anyone i'm not saying this will fix everything and again this is just my opinion you're you know you can agree or disagree it's completely fine like i said i disagree with a lot of the negativity around this issue and i agree with what cig are implementing i'd love to know what you guys think to the idea of a shuttle and your general thoughts on this current situation so let me know down below. And just one more thing, COG have actually said that they are going to be looking into balancing the costs and the times uh, soon, like they're working on it at the moment. And they originally said when they put this out anyway, that you know this was something they're going to be working on going forward. They're going to be tweaking it and seeing you know what people think to it, etc. But I think it's important that they don't cave in straight away to the demands of people in my opinion, are not playing the game in the best way, the most uh, productive way, maybe. Again, to me, in my eyes, it's very much like going naught and 10 on Call of Duty every game and then complaining that the game's too hard. And I don't mean that to sound harsh, and I don't mean any offence to anyone, 
but it is very much like that. I know it's completely different scenarios, but essentially what I'm saying is, it, you know, if you're in that situation where you haven't got UEC and you haven't got a ship to fall back on, then you've, you know, you've not played the game well. You've, you've you know, your strategy's wrong. You need to rethink it and you need to manage your fleet and money better. That's that's my thoughts on it anyway. So there you go, guys. Like I said, let me know what you think down below. I've not really done any of these sort of videos before for Star Citizen, but, you know, this is something, you know, I wanted to put out, especially the idea of the shuttle, and um, just a few of my thoughts on it, because I do think it's important for developers, especially CIG, not to cave into things that are essentially a player issue rather than a game issue, in my eyes. I do think this is a player issue. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope it was interesting, if nothing else. Again, I'd love to know your thoughts. Give the video a thumbs up, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, I'll catch you later, guys. Mm -hmm.